Sean here from The Tour Guy. I've gotten tons of comments and questions about what things I like to do when I come to Rome. So this video is all about the best tours you can take in the eternal city of Rome. In this video, we'll be covering our detailed Vatican Gold Tour, the Colosseum Underground Tour, the Roman Catacombs Tour, our Roman a Day Tour, and our food tour of the local Trastevere neighborhood, Vatican Gold Extended Tour. If you're looking for a complete Rome experience, there is a great way to start your day. We have amazing access to the Vatican Museums to get you in an hour and a half earlier than the public. If you visited the Vatican before, you probably know that the crowds can be pretty horrendous, which is why we put this together. We wanna to make sure that you get to see everything you wanna see the way you wanna see it with minimal crowds. That means moving at your own pace and not craning your neck over a bunch of tourists trying to see the work. So we came inside before the general public. So we have the museums pretty much to ourselves, which is awesome. So this way we can get a full day in Rome, you know, really get straight to Sistine Chapel. There's a lot to see in the Vatican Museums, so you'll want a guide. That way you know what you're looking at. You'll make your way through the Candelabra Gallery, Gallery of the Tapestries, and Gallery of the Maps. All the while, you see some of the most stunning works from the world's greatest artists. From Raphael to ancient Greek and Roman statues found in the collection, your guide has all the insider information that really puts this work in context. Then there's the main event, the Sistine Chapel. The ceiling was painted over the course of four years painstaking work by Renaissance master Michelangelo. These frescoes are a stunning example of what a person can do with enormous effort and concentration. At regular hours, seeing the frescoes can turn into crowded, rushed experiences. With this tour, you'll be able to see the masterpiece with barely anyone there, which makes it extremely special. After you've had time to check out this masterpiece, the tour moves on to the St. Peter's Basilica, the centerpiece of the Enclave City. Usually the lines for this gorgeous church will spiral around the piazza in front of the basilica, taking a very long time to get inside. But we've secured VIP skip the line access so you won't have to wait. If you're going when it's hot, this can be a lifesaver. The Colosseum Underground. This is one of our most popular tours here at the Tour Guide, and it's not hard to see why. The Colosseum was built over the course of 10 years from 70 to 80 AD by two different emperors, Vespasian and Titus. It was built as a place to entertain the people, where gladiators and wild animals fought for the enjoyment of thousands. They even filled the arena with water to act out ancient naval battles. Over the millennia, the Colosseum fell into despair as the Roman Empire eventually collapsed. It was never destroyed though, and has remained in its place in central Rome as a symbol of a bygone era of Roman power. Today, tons of people visit the Colosseum, though not everyone gets to see the whole story. On our Colosseum Underground Tour, you'll get to see the arena floor of the Colosseum where the gladiators once fought to the death. But more than that, you'll get a guided tour of some of the more hidden areas of the ancient stadium, known as the Ipogeum in Latin. Then you'll have the chance to check out the second floor of the Colosseum. We've got some amazing expert guides who can answer any question you may have about the stadium, whether it is about the emperors who built it, the gladiators who fought in it, or the people that came to watch the games. We also offer a night tour, which is a really unique experience that you definitely should not miss out on. If the Colosseum Underground Tour is sold out, an amazing, less expensive option is the Colosseum Arena Floor Tour, which is phenomenal. Still goes to the arena floor, just doesn't visit the underground, but amazing tour, much less expensive. After the Colosseum, it's on the Roman Forum, where you'll visit the ancient ruins with an amazing licensed guide. It's great to hear the stories behind the ruins, which really brings them life, making them more than just old stone. Before leaving the forum, you'll see the Arch of Titus, which includes one of the earliest carved depictions of the menorah. It was built in honor of Emperor Titus's victory in a Jewish rebellion during the first century. It was an important fixture in both Roman and Jewish history as just an incredible sight to behold. With a guide, you'll hear stories that simply would never be discovered on your own, including how the artwork inside the arch comes to life. If tours underground are your cup of tea, then you should definitely check out our Roman Catacombs tour. Our first stop here is the Capuchin Crypts, hidden beneath the church of Santa Maria della Concessione del Cappuccini. There are nearly 4,000 bodies buried here. The space was used for burial for over 350 years, mostly for burial of the Capuchin Friars. 
On this tour, you'll explore several rooms that make up the crypts. Now, these look much different than just burial. These rooms, these crypts are all decorated with the bones of the friars. On this tour, you'll visit the Domitilla Catacomb, which is named after the Domitilla family. These catacombs were built because the Romans had a law restricting burial inside the city. So they built the catacombs just outside the city walls in order to bury their dead. They were put about 15 minutes outside the city center and 16 meters underground. Without a guide, it would be easy to get lost in this twisted maze of dark halls and rooms, making nearly 30,000 tombs in total. There are thousands of people buried here. If that doesn't scare you too much, it's certainly one of the coolest things you can see in Rome. You won't have to worry about getting stuck down there though. This tour continues all the way to the Appian Way outside the city. As you walk down the ancient Roman road of the Appian Way, the same stones the Romans themselves put their feet on, maybe their sandals. Roman a day! Whew. If you're looking to pack a lot of stuff into one jam-packed day, then our Roman a day tour is perfect for just that. That tour includes all the top pilots of Rome. This seven hour tour starts at the Vatican. After the chapel, we'll stop at the St. Peter's Basilica, which is an enormous, beautiful church. This huge church is the size of two football fields and includes some unbelievable works of art like La Pieta and the Baldacchino. You won't have to wait in line for this one either. After you beat the crowds of the Vatican, our tour continues to the heart of Rome and gets you a sense of what it's like to live there now and the art that's been created the last few hundred years. Our guides are all locals and can give you that modern perspective that you can't get from a brochure. By modern, we mean like the last 500 years. I want to take a quick break to get a gelato. While I'm taking this break, you don't mind taking a break from the video and just liking it, if you like it, that is. If you like it, like it. If you don't like it, I get it, no big deal. But if you do like it, click the like button, please. We'll bring you to some of the most iconic spots in the city, like the Trevi Fountain. Don't let the classic style statues fool you. This fountain was actually built in the 18th century. Following the competition to construct a fountain outside the beautiful Palazzo Poli, it's one of the most popular fountains to snap a picture. Toss a coin and make a wish. You'll see Piazza Navona and of course the Pantheon, one of the most well-preserved buildings left from ancient Rome. You'll check out the amazing palaces on the Palatine Hill and walk through the Forum. You'll see the Colosseum where you'll check out the first and second tier of the stadium. Food tour of Trastevere. After you've had your fill of everything in Rome, you might want to try something a bit easier on your feet with our awesome food tour of the Roman neighborhood, Trastevere. Trastevere is one of the trendiest neighborhoods in the city and has a real local vibe that can be hard to find anywhere else. All of our guides love Trastevere, so they'll be able to show you all the ins and outs. You'll catch all the local sites that make this neighborhood special. Get ready to hear about the rich tradition of Roman bakeries or forni, which can be found all over the city. On this tour, we'll bring you our favorite and one of the most famous ones in Trastevere. So that's it, guys. If you like this video, click the like button. If you love it, subscribe so you get all of our content as soon as it comes out. If you have questions, comment them below. We actually make videos based on your comments. Otherwise, arrivederci, and thank you. This is pretty cool. Just to keep themselves, themselves, blah, blah. What'd you do? <laughs>